Hello and thank you for watching this video. On this video, I will show you how you can import product in bulk, affiliate product in bulk from Amazon to commerce. On the previous video, I have shown you how to import single product. And on this video, I will show you how to import bulk product, product in bulk. So to start using this extension, you will need to install the Chrome extension, Amazon Dropship and Affiliate. If you go to the first video on this playlist, you will see how to install the extension and how to connect the extension to your store in order to be able to import product. Once the extension is installed and you are ready to start import a product, you can just open any product page from Amazon and you'll see three buttons displayed next to the title. So the first button is to import single product. This button is to import variable products or maybe product in bulk. And this for configuration. So if you have the configuration and you want to paste your affiliate ID, you can just paste it here. This affiliate ID will be used to create the affiliate link. We close this tab and you go back to Amazon and you click on import multiple as in. So you will see this page here. This page is composed of many tabs. And the most important tabs here is variations. So on the variation, you can see that we have already one variation loaded and we will click on this button to load the next 20 variation. So this will take a couple of seconds and it will load one by one. So for each product, we will make a request to load all the details related to this product. So we'll wait until the loading is done. And then we will continue with the customization, customization of our product. So right now we have already 10 products loaded. You can scroll and see all of them. And you can see that for each variation, you can import as a product, as a dropshipping product or as an affiliate product. And for this video, we will test how to import an affiliate product. So once this is done, we can see that the loading spinner is terminated and we can just pick any product and import it. So for example, I will import this product here. So you'll see the loading spinner and at the end, you'll see a successful notification message. All right, so I open the list of product and I see my product here. I will open the product to see the details. So you see that there is a description already imported. And if I have a product, you can see all the details. So these are all the images for this specific variations. So it's not like the same original product images. So it's specific for this variation. We see the price, we see the buy now button, the description, the additional data and the reviews. So if I click on buy now, as it is an affiliate product, this will redirect me to Amazon and you'll see that at the end of the URL, you will have your tag here. So if a customer purchases this product, you'll get your commission associated to this affiliate ID. I close this tab and I go back here. So again, I can do another test. So if I import this one here, it will take a few seconds and it will be imported successfully. I refresh the list and I see my product here with all the details as the first one. Right now, there is something that we can do in order to improve this import process. You can go to the general and customize our product. So here are the same information that it will be loaded to all customers. The difference is that the gallery will not be the same, it will be specific for each variation. The price as well will be not the same, the quantity and the variation itself. For the additional data, for the tags, the reviews, the description, it will be the same. So I will go step by step and tab by tab to give you some information. So here, as you can see, you can you see the SKU or the ASIN, here the title, you can modify it, the product URL. The, the product URL also will be specific. So this is the buy button, the short description. I publish the product and I will set it as featured product and then I will set clothing category. On the description, you can create your own description for all imports. So for example, I want to have something like this. And you have the flexibility to modify all the details here. You can even import some more details like product details, uh, product specification and the short description. You can see them at the end here. You can format them all just by choosing some formatting uh, features and that should be fine. You can remove images. You can insert images from gallery, for example, or from reviews or from whatever you want. Also from variations. So you can insert variations, image variation here. I will insert image from gallery. So these are the image from gallery. I'll just keep some of them and I will remove the rest. I remove all of these parts here and I will keep these images. It's on the gallery, so this will not be taken into consideration. The reviews, so you can lo load all your reviews. This is the, are loaded by default. You can load more reviews from here. Variations is the page that is most important for us. Additional details, you can customize it. You can add specification like shop name or product details, my shop. Here, product tags. So this is all the things that you will see, all the tags that you will see here. So you can generate them from the title like this. And I will go back here. So we have already imported two products. We can import more, but before that, I can open the advanced setting. And this advanced setting, it allows, it offers me some extra features. So I can apply the sharp pricing here. For example, you see the price is now 40.00, which is like 
look better. It can be also apply the pricing with 99, so it looks like this. I can import image variations. I can apply the same price for all products. For example, uh, I want that the product price would be 35. I apply it 35 and I apply again the sharp pricing. On the right part, I can specify if I want to import the image from the gallery, so from here, or if I want to import the image from the product itself. If I open, for example, this product, I see that images are not the same as the generic ones because they will be specific for this variation. You see here? So if I use the option by default, I will import these images. Otherwise, I will import the images inside the gallery, which are not the same. Back here, the title is the same, so I can import the title from here, that I've defined here, or I can import the title from specific product. And again, you can import any product you want. So I can import this one here. And if you want to import all of them at once, you can click on Import All as Affiliate. This will take longer time to load all the products. We'll make a test. So here we have 307 products. Normally, we should have at the end 300 plus 21. So 321, we will have like 327 or something like that. We will wait until the end of this operation, and we'll see that all these products will be imported as separate products. This is very useful and it allows you to have a lot and a lot of affiliate products in your shop with simple clicks and very fast and with a lot of customization, customization options. So we wait again a little bit more. At the end, we should see the successful notification in green color on the left side. You can also load more variations. So this product have 55 variation. We have seen that product imported successfully, all the products. So if we refresh this one, we will have 326 and all the product have been imported successfully. Each uh, ASIN is associated to product. They will have different prices and different images. That's all for this video. See you on next video.